much for joining us here at Fisher Kids Studios. We often hear from our customers that they're not quite sure exactly how much to put into the money bags, the give, the save, and the spend. And they're also not sure exactly how to teach their children how to use those funds in each bag. So we're going to divide the answer up into three different video blogs. We'll do one on give, one on save, one on spend. Before we begin, however, we'd like to let you know how much to put into those money bags. It's completely up to you. It's up to your family. It's up to your children's age. Play around with it. Figure out what motivates your children to give, to save, to spend, to earn enough money to do all of those things and to do them well. You don't want to give them access to superfluous funds, but of course you also want, don't want to give them so little money that there's no motivation to keep saving because they're never going to reach their goal. So keep it realistic. But don't do the keeping up with the Joneses. Just because your neighbors pay one thing and your friends over here pay their kids another thing does not mean that's right for your family. And one more thing before we begin. I get this question all the time. How do I motivate my children to do this? They keep saying they don't need to, they don't need to buy anything. There's nothing that they're saving for. And I think that goes back to us as parents. Don't buy your kids everything under the sun. We want to, when we want to give to our children and we want them to be happy, we also don't want to, A, substitute their happiness for things, and B, we want to give them some motivation to teach them that work ethic. We want them to realize, to set a goal and then realize it, to want to save for something and then go get it. It's a great feeling that you've just worked so hard and you've earned what you want. So it's difficult for us to not constantly buy our children stuff. It's also difficult when grandparents are involved. But please know that that is the way this is going to work. Obviously, birthdays and holidays, that's set aside. But during the course of the year, if they want something, they save for it. Teaching delayed gratification is a whole other blog in and of itself. Higher test scores are related to delayed gratification. Higher, stronger work ethic is, is related to delayed gratification. There's all sorts of studies about teaching our children delayed gratification. And these days, everything's instant. Instagram, there's um, all the different social medias, there's all the different texting you know, apps and then texting in general, messaging, it, everything is instant. Um, if we don't know the answer, we Google it. I mean, it's all instant. So delayed gratification is a dying art. So teach your children to set a goal, save for it, and then go get it and get them, give them that feeling. So all that's set aside. Let's talk about the give. So the give bag is, your, is truly where we teach our children philanthropy. We teach them charity. In our family, and I'm going to answer these as we do with our family because that's the way I know best, but we allow our children to save 10% into their give. We do give to our church. Um, we also allow them any sort of um, fundraiser at school, any book fairs, um, canned food drives, all of those different things that we're constantly getting throughout the school year. If it's related to fundraising at their school, that comes out of their give. We actually even, if we go to the zoo or the museum with our kids, we allow them to use their give money because that money goes back to the zoo or to the museum or to the library. So any time that you can teach your children to help others, that's the give bag. We have an entire section of our website dedicated to teaching your children to give. So check it out, www.fisher-kids.com.